What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up or configure Visual Studio Code for C and C++ programming so that you can start coding with C or C++ programming in Visual Studio Code. For this, you need to install two things. The first one is MinGW Compiler and the second one is Visual Studio Code. If you have a MinGW Compiler and Visual Studio Code on your PC, check out my videos by clicking the links in the description to see how to install them. So install them and continue with this video. Now assuming that you have installed MinGW Compiler and Visual Studio Code, let's directly dive into setting up Visual Studio Code for C and C++ programming. So open up the Visual Studio Code by typing in Visual Studio Code at your search bar or the Visual Studio Code shortcut. This opens up the Visual Studio Code welcome screen. Now on the left hand side, go to Extensions and click on it. Here in the search bar, type in C, C++ and click on the C, C++ extension published by Microsoft. Click on install. This extension provides the language support for C and C++ to Visual Studio Code. Wait for the extension to finish installing. Once it's finished installing this extension, once again go to the search bar and type in Code Runner to install one more important extension. This extension will help you to run C and C++ programs uh, easily by just clicking on a single button. Now go to Code Runner and click on Install. Now this extension is installed successfully. Next, restart the Visual Studio Code. So close it and open it up again. Now let's set up the workspace by adding a folder. So go to File and click on Add Folder to Workspace. You can create a folder anywhere in your PC and add it to the workspace. I'm going to put it in my desktop. Create a new folder here and name it C and CPP files. Now select the folder and add it. Here you can see the folder we have created. You can also save the workspace with a name of your choice. For that, go to File and click on Save Workspace As. And it opens up a window where you can name your workspace. So I'm going to save it in my desktop with a name, let's say, C, C++ Programming. And click on Save. Now you can see that we have the workspace which contains the folder we have already created. Now let's create a file inside the folder. So select this folder and click on this new file button. Name the file with, let's say, hello.c. So the file hello.c is opened here. Now let's create a, a simple hello world program. If you are new to C programming and curious about how we have uh, uh, written this program, you can watch my uh, video tutorials on C programming. But for now, let's focus on how we can run C programs in Visual Studio Code. So to run this program, you have a couple of options to use. The first option is that you can go to the uh, top right corner and click on uh, this run code icon. The second option is you can use keyboard shortcut that is press Ctrl, Alt, N and it will run the program. Or the third option is that you can right click here and click on run code. Now you can see here in the output tab that the output is uh, displayed, which is hello world. All right, so we are now able to run a, a simple C program that simply displays an output. But what if uh, you write a program that needs a user input? In this case, you can enter an input from this output tab because this output tab is read only. So let's test it by writing a program that demands a user input. Now run this program and you can see that it doesn't display uh, anything in the output tab as the output tab is read only. So the solution is uh, stop this program by pressing Alt Ctrl N on your keyboard and configure the settings. Therefore go to file and go all the way down to uh, preferences then select settings and click on extensions. Now go all the way down to run code configuration and click on it. 
Then scroll down to uh, run in terminal and check it. Save it by pressing uh, Ctrl plus S on your keyboard and close the settings. Now come back to the code and run it. If the code runs uh, and it says enter number, let's say 78, and it says the number is 78. So you are now all set to run any C or C++ programs uh, on Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video, uh, show me by liking, sharing and subscribing.